Hey, what's up, Fax? Man, I'm just calling you, dude. Uh, you know, I've been looking for a job, so I was checking my email, and I got a couple of hits on the, on the monster.com stuff, so. But it's a job I want to run by you, man, if you got a, a second. All right, cool. All right, man, this job is from a company called God Incorporated, and the position is servant. I, I don't know, man. Servant, you know, I'm kind of just iffy about it, but it's just weird, so I just wanted to to uh, hit you up and get your opinion on it. Okay, so basically the mission, the mission statement for the position in the company is Matthew 28 19. And it says, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, cool. So about the company, it was established since day one. I mean, I guess that's the beginning of the time, I'm guessing was created in seven days. You need. Always seeking and accepting applic applicants. So man, I mean, is, is this just like a, all, I mean, anybody can get this job? I mean, how do you always have positions open? Anyway, um, so I started asking myself questions, man, like the same ones you're asking. Who would I be working for? So, man, hold on, let's find this out. Uh, let's go up to this frequently asked questions. <laughs> Question one. Who's your boss? So it says Colossians 3.23 uh, verses uh, through 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as, as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Okay, so I guess my boss is going to be the Lord. So, you know, key knowledge, man, I knew he was going to ask facts. I knew he was going to ask about the dress code. So I was wearing the same thing, too. So, you know, because we got to try to stay fresh, you know, wearing jeans, stuff like that. So dress code is here also. Um, dress code, it says Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 18. Um, belt of truth, buckle around your waist. I don't know where I'm going to find that at. Breastplate of righteousness in place. Uh, feet fitted with the readiness of the Gospels, so um, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Um, all right, man, hold on. I'm about to get to the pay, man. Okay, so pay and benefits, because you know that's what that's what's gonna make or break me getting this job. You know, I taking this position. Pay says, um, receive the crown of glory. Um, and then also it says, For God so loved the world, He gave His one and only Son. For it is by grace you have been saved, it's the gift from God. Then it keeps going, so 1 John 10, 28, I give them eternal life, and they, sh they shall never perish. And then John 6, 27 says, Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life. So man, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, dude. That was just crazy. I'm opening it up, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, it's just different. I don't see any dollar amount. Um, it doesn't look like you have to have many qualifications for the position. You know, it just threw me off when it said servant. So I'm like, well, you know, servant, what's up with that? But I mean, what you think, man? You think, you think it's something that I need to be looking at? All right, well, man, you know what? I appreciate it. I'm, I'm going to think about it, talk it over with the wife, and uh, I'll let you know, man. All right, Pat, so I appreciate it. Man, I mean... All right, so let's pros and cons. Of course, I'm all about making some money, but, I mean, the ultimate, the ultimate goal is to get to heaven. That's what I want to do. I want to get to heaven. And it seems like this position... Um, will help me get there. So, I mean, I'm not about serving man. I mean, I wanna, I wanna serve God, so. I guess to answer my questions, 
I guess I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this application. We don't want no problem. We just want to praise the Lord. He gonna get his praise even if we don't record. You say you believe in God. They ain't calling you a liar. Well, I guess the Holy Spirit got me preaching to the choir. High enough to take him higher. We might call it a revival. He's so vital to my life. Put him in all of my recitals. Go to war for the Messiah, brother Morris.